Foxy 103, home of the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Now, I was telling y'all earlier tonight, during the 10 o'clock hour, I'm going to be hollering at a lot of different producers throughout the United States of America. And tonight, checking in, we got my man Buck of the Track Dealers. What up, Buck? What up, what up? Man, chilling, chilling. It's an honor and a pleasure to have you a part of Big City Radio right now. You already know, man. I appreciate the interview, man. I mean, shout out to all, all listeners to Fox 103, man. You know what I mean? It's a place to be, man. All the exclusive stuff, you know what I mean? Gives you the street. Let everybody know, man, who people behind the music is us, producers. Now, now you didn't produce a lot of major records in the industry, man. Go ahead, before we get into the records, tell everybody a little bit about Track Dealers, where they from, how'd you get your start? All right, basically, you know, I'm 05. I actually, you know I mean, made, made my transition from the streets into becoming a more serious musician. Mm -hmm. And I... Uh, because I'm creating a company called Track Dealers. I um, and find, find two other producers. I went to um, Institute of Audio Research in uh, Manhattan. And uh, we, we originally from Harlem and in the Bronx. And, uh, and, and one of my producers were in Midtown at that time. Um, basically, what we did was, you know, we put out a bunch of records with, uh, like, Corey Guns and and uh, Wells and Cam. And, and right now we're working with, basically, ran through all the dip set. Um, from down south, cats like uh, Jeezy. Uh, we've also did little joints with Rick Ross and Gunplay and Torch. Um, those are the MMG cats. Uh, Nipsey Hustle, Black and Malone. I can go on all day, man. I'll fight the Godson, everybody in New York. And then I also got um, a new single we just did with SAS. Popping over in the UK right now, too, man. Wow, boy. That resume is crazy long. Yeah, I mean, you know, we got plenty more, you know, we got some R&B cast too also that we produce for, but we've been up in the, all, basically all the major labels and uh, pushing this real nice, trying to get the, uh, a nice lucrative situation out of, out of everything we're pushing right now. Now, now, what you're doing, the producer thing, was it hard for you to get into the into the game? You know what I'm saying? Did you have to knock down a lot of doors or was it easy for you? I mean, it's, 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 it's two different ways of basically doing this. You can either do it the street way, you can do it the music way. I chose to do it the street way. I was already messing with a lot of um, people, you know what I mean, that are up on that level, like popping bottles in the clubs and being around cats. And I ended up, they see me moving, they're moving. It was like, oh, okay, what, what exactly you do, you know what I mean? I, I become a friend with some artists on, on some personal level. And I also threw in the point of, you know what I mean, yo, I made some beats too. I made some beats and it was like, yo, these which is fire, so start getting the music and really taking it seriously, and that's that's what I do now, man. You know what I mean? All three 100% music. I'm trying to look out for the producers that are up and coming. I find some new producers for the company, and I, I let some go that wanted to go and do their own thing. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I'm, right now we just push, working on pushing this movement, man. Now, I mean, truthfully, it wasn't hard at all. It wasn't really hard at all, man, because I was already doing the things that they do. You know what I mean? Now, when you look at for signing producers, what are, what are you looking at? Are you looking at their creativity? How do you how do you pick out that next cat that you want to sign? Um, I mean, there's a couple of rules that I got as a track dealer. Number one, you got to be able to make all the genres of music. Number two, you got to make that in a timely fashion. Um, meaning 15 to 20 minutes for a beat as long as you're not doing mastering or mixing or anything to that, that level but you gotta be able to make a nice piece of beat know the, know the formula to making a hit single and, uh, and be able to demonstrate that um, also your uniqueness and style as a producer is very important also there it is. Right now on the phone line, we got my man Buck, CEO of Track Dealers. You hear a lot of their tracks on the radio. He's still working and getting it in. Where can we find y'all at on the social network? Go ahead and give your Facebook out, your Twitter, and how they how they can contact you if they're serious and wanting to purchase a beat. That's what I'm saying, man. We, we work willing to work with anybody who's out of budget, man. As long as you understand, you got to pay in order to make your way in this game. I mean, as long as you understand, I'm willing to work with you. I don't care if you got $2 to $2,000, man. As long as you understand that you got to, you know what I mean, show a little love to get love, man. I'm ready to work with you, and I, I, I want to see the new generation of people coming out, producers and rappers. But um, like you said, man, my Facebook, everything is track deals. You can just Google track deals, but the spelling is a little bit different. It's T-R-A-K. C E A L A Z. That's on Facebook. That's on Twitter. That's at Track Deals, obviously. 
That's on Instagram. That's on everything. I own track dealers. I am track dealers. So <laughs> try and get a hold of me. All you got to do is Google track dealers. Um, a couple of records we've done, like um, My Darling with Lil Wayne and Drake, um, Rich and Richie with Corey Gunn. Um, but usually we um, we are using our world stuff once a month and stuff. And also, truthfully, man, I'm a, I, I know people are usually going to do this, man, but if you're serious, you know what I mean, and you really want to get a hold of me, you can call me direct. Give my number right now. Hold on, hold on, boy. You about to give out your direct line? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Man, because, you know what I mean, I'm out here grinding, and I want to push the next level, man. So get your pens ready, man. Here it comes. 646-467-4357. Four three seven one man. All producer, you think you got some fire? Hit me up. You a rapper with a little budget? You can hit me up, man. I'm up twenty four hours, man. I'm out here grinding, man. I want to push the next level. I want to find the next best artist so we can make them and make sure that he, he's safe. Cause you know what I mean. I'm 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 real deep with the lawyer team, real deep with the accountants. You know what I mean. I'm, I get I get everybody ready for the labels. You know what I mean. Wow, man, that's what it is, man. Live and direct with us on the phone, track deals, man. I hope that y'all wrote that number down in serious inquiries, man, because a lot of people give their numbers out and people be calling and asking questions and they not serious, only if you're serious people. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean? It's just a disrespect factor, man. Like anybody like a construction worker, man, you want to go on their, on their site and disrespect what they do, man. So as long as you understand that we bought music and this is really our life, not a hobby, you know what I mean? Hit me up, man. I'm ready for you, man. Track deals, you can Google it, like I said. T-R-A-K-D-E-A-L-A-Z. If you want to hear some beats, you can go to www.trackdealers.com also. Same with that spell. You know what I mean? Trackdealers.com, man. Check it out. We got leases on there, videos I've directed, mixtapes um, that we put out ourselves, mixtapes with others, um, interviews, magazines. We've been in Billboard. We've been in... Uh, Double XL, we've been in Chess Magazine. I mean, everything's there, man. Trackdeals.com. It is, my man. Track Deals taking the time out of his busy schedule to check in with us down here in the Dirty Dirty. I got a couple of questions for you, man. What is some of the equipment that you are working out on right now? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of a vintage, I'm a vintage guy. I don't really deal with the soft market, software much. Wow, you still uh, keep it in vintage? What? I'm, business, man. I'm, I'm, I'm an NPC. Triton, Phantom, man. I got to touch my beats, man. I feel as though, I mean, emotions got to go to the fingertips, bro. You know what I mean? If you understand that, you got to be a real musician. So, you know what I mean? I can't, I can't make you feel the way I want to feel through the music by clicking the mouse. You know what I mean? No doubt, no doubt. Second question. Who is it that track deals want to work with who they haven't worked with yet? Uh, right now, I, I, I would like to definitely be around like the Kanye, the Jay-Z's, the... Uh, um, I really want to be one on one with Lil Wayne, mm-hmm. um, and then obviously I, I, I just respect producers uh, uh, as a whole and people that you know me and do my forefathers for the producer, the producer game man like Dr. Dre, um, just Blaze, uh, Sean Garrett, Brian Leslie, you know what I mean the guys that are real real producers man that really respect the game and, and understand there's a code that you got to follow in order to be. Multi-platinum producer in this game. Pharrell's also another one, obviously. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Last but not least, what is Track Deals bumping in the MP3 player right now? Oh, right now I ain't gonna front. <laughs> I got that. Uh, I got that new Two Chain. I got that new Meek Mill Dream Chaser. Obviously, everybody downloading Chaser Two. I mean, I'm sorry, I don't mean to swear. Dream Chaser Two, and then uh, I got what else I got? Uh, oh, oh, the new, um, new Jada Kiss, crazy. Oh, yeah, that kiss off the chain. Yeah, that new kiss is crazy. Uh, you know what I mean? The meat I'm feeling, and that Vampire Life 2, all, it's all right, but you know what I mean? I'm definitely bumping my guys in no doubt, no doubt. Track deals, man. We appreciate you taking the time and hollering at us down here in the Dirty Dirty, man. We appreciate you so much, man. Anything that you're working on in the future, man, don't be afraid, man. If you need that outlet, you need to highlight the people, we're going to be here to make it happen for you. You did? Yeah, definitely, man. If you want to invite me out there anytime, man, I'm willing to come down there and do interviews, do whatever needs to be done, man, showcases, whatever. You can get a hold of me for whatever needs to be done, man. I respect it all. I appreciate the opportunity, man, to do this interview, and God bless everybody that's listening, man.